Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Jason Eakins, a service manager over at Presidential Pools and Spas. Um, in today's class, we're going to go over the IntelliCenter control system um, as well as the app uh, that works with this panel. First things first, this panel does have a standby mode. Um, in other words, the screen is off. So if you open up the door on this and see a black screen, simply touching it will wake up the screen. Um, we got a few options in here we're gonna go over as well as the app. Um, getting into this, the first thing from left to right, you have a pool, you have a spa, you have a features button, and you have a lights button. These are essentially what the homeowner is going to use more than anything. Um, outside of schedule. So the first thing in here is your pool button. By hitting the pool button, you're going to enter into the low speed menu. Um, your low speed is uh, again, something that will run your UV, your ozone, your salt system, your heater. Um, we've talked about this previous classes on the previous panels. Um, still works the same thing on this panel. Anytime this low speed is on, if you do have a salt system, UV, anything of that nature, it's going to power those up. By pushing the low speed, that will kick on your low speed, just to circulate the pool. Also fire up uh, the salt system again, the ozone. It will give you a pool temp reading um, and also give you the option to kick on your heater if you have a heater. By hitting the heat mode, we have a few options in here. You have a gas heater and down here you have an electric heater. By hitting the gas heater on and backing out of here, you will now see a flame and a heat set point. The flame is on because our set point is above water temp. If we kick it off, you'll see the flame go away. That means the heater has been disabled. As Soon as we go above water temp, that is going to enable the heat, kick the heater on. Works the exact same way with the electric heater. By going back into the heater menu, hitting off, the back arrow, that will kick off your heater. You wanna shut the low speed off, Simply push the pull button, that kicks the low speed off. By hitting the back button, we're back to the main menu. The next option is the spa. Spa is essentially uh, just like the low speed. By kicking this on, this will also um, engage any kind of salt system if you have one, ozone. Uh, more importantly, it will turn your valves, uh, turn the pump on, and isolate the body of, uh, of water in the spa. So if we kick this on, we now have a spa temp, that's the water temp reading 79 degrees. And again, we have a set point of 100 degrees and heater already enabled, so everything comes on with one button push. Again, if you wanna use your spa without any kind of heat going, you wanna go into your heater menu and then just select off and the back arrow and that will kick off your uh, heater only. With your spa button lit up, you're still uh, able to enjoy the therapies, uh, things of that nature um, with the spa mode on. And again, everything off, one button push. We hit the back arrow out of here. Uh, the next option in here is your features. This is where you're going to find anything um, like a high speed, a water feature, a bubbler, um, let's see, spillway, stuff of that nature. For us, we have a real simple setup in here right now. We have a high speed button and we have a water feature button. The high speed is going to be uh, a button you're going to use outside of schedules. Um, if you have a dust storm, if you're adding chemicals, if you're needing to do anything um, where you need some water movement in a high volume, your high speed button is the button to turn on. Um, this is also good just for brushing the pool down. If you, uh, if you wanna brush everything towards the center of the drain, you have really good suction down at the main drain that you can brush everything into with the high speed on. And the water feature is pretty self-explanatory. Any kind of water feature that you have set up in here from our start, uh, our startup, excuse me, you have a spillway, you got deck jets, anything like that. It's a simple button push. Um, it will rotate a valve in most cases and kick the pump on. Um, this is your waterfall button um, to kick anything of that nature on. Uh, simply by pushing it again, you're turning it off just like everything else we've already talked about. Um, real easy setup, on off uh, by simply touching the screen. Again, you have your back arrow. We're back to the main menu. You got lights, our next uh, option. You have a simple on off button again, like everything else to kick your lights on or off. Those of you with a multicolor light, 
can now go to this little uh, button with the colors in it and select either a solid color, white, blue, red, green, or magenta, or you can go to light shows and pick a bunch of different color changing modes. Let's say we want to go to Caribbean, check mark. That's going to take about a two to four second delay and turn our lights into a Caribbean mode. Um, and definitely feel free to play with that. Um, mess around with the colors, all kinds of fun stuff in there to do. Once you hear your relay done clicking, your lights will now be in Caribbean mode or whatever you have selected. And again, if you simply push the lights button, that will kick all your lights off. As long as you have them off for longer than 11 seconds, I believe, you will be able to turn them on maybe tonight, maybe two nights, um, you know, three days later, and it will be on the last selection that you've done. So if you had blue, and you turn it on a week later, they'll be on that blue. Back arrow again, the bottom left in this menu is your schedules. If we get into schedules, you see in here that we have a low speed setup from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. We have a high speed setup, 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. The overlapping schedules is simply to allow your chlorinator or ozone or UV, anything of that nature, to operate the whole time the low speed is running. These are going to change with the seasons. You're going to run a little more hours as the heat comes and you're swimming, enjoying the pool a little more than in the wintertime. In the wintertime, you'll be able to kick your hours way, way down. By simply pushing, let's go to low, your menu pops up here now. You got your start and your stop time. If you wanted to change anything, let's go start time. We want to have it turn on a couple hours prior to what it was running at. We're going to have it come on at 8 p.m. now and a check mark. So we now have it 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Every day, don't change for the heat source. Your back arrow will back you out of there. Your high speed, let's say we want to run that an hour earlier too. We'll kick it up to 4 a.m. and you're going to hit the check mark saves it back out we now have 8 p.m to 8 a.m and a 4 a.m to 8 a.m for the high speed if you wanted to add a schedule for your lights you're simply going to push add schedule you're going to a weekly schedule you're going to select lights and the check mark you got your 8 a.m to 5 p.m is factory schedule and again same thing start time let's say you want them to come on 8 p.m at night you hit your check mark you want them to shut off at 11 p.m. Check mark. That's a new schedule set up for your lights. You can also do this for your water features, et cetera. I'm gonna back out. You now see your lights schedule in there that we just created. You got your low speed, your high speed, and your lights. If you wanted to dump one of these schedules, there's a trash can here. You're gonna simply push the trash can and select lights. Check mark. Make sure you wanna do that. Hit yes. Your light schedule is gone. Um, again, these will really kind of be dictated by weather, um, time of year, all that kind of good stuff, um, how much you're swimming. Generally, uh, how much you're swimming is going to increase your schedules um, in the most basic way to think about it. Um, when you stop swimming, you're starting to get a lot colder of a water. Um, you're not in the pool nearly as much or at all. Your hours are going to de decrease um, a good amount. Back arrow to get out of your schedules. Um, the last thing on this menu or this screen that we're going to go over is your chemistry. Um, for those of you that have a salt system, you're going to simply push the chemistry button and your pool output is your chlorine output. So if you're testing your water every day, every week, um, and you're starting to get low chlorine, let's say, we're going to ramp this up from 80% to 90%. We're going to hit the back arrow to save it. What that's doing is telling your chlorinator you now need more chlorine production. If you've maxed this guy out at 100% and you're still not getting enough chlorine, you would then need to go into your schedules and you need to increase your pool low. So we're right now we're running 12 hours a day. Let's say we're at 100%. We're maxed out. You're swimming an awful lot, um, enjoying the pool. You're just not keeping that chlorine in the water. You may need to run this 14 to 15 hours a day, let's say. Um, pretty simple. So more, more pool use, uh, more heat. We're going to increase hours as well as your pool chlorinator percentage. 
that about wraps up the touch screen. So you do, again, to go over this real quick, you got your pool, your spa, your features, and your lights. The top four are gonna be your main, your main modes you're gonna get into if you're out of the panel.